What's up guys, it's Archon, or we Archon or Martin, and today I'm bringing you Archon Talks Episode 3, and uh, I'm here with the pack not one. Hey guys. And we're doing a quick commentary, not really quick, it's probably going to be long, on uh, the PS4, information about the PS4, and also our hopes. So let's get crack a So the release date for the PS4 is supposed to be holiday 2013, which uh, I suppose means Christmas 2013. And... Uh, here are some of the features that are going to be included in it. There is supposed to be a built-in capture card, which will be good. Hopefully, it'll record over 480p because if it records 480p or under, it's sort of shit. I think it's supposed to be 720p. Is it HD? Yeah, it's definitely HD. Yeah, so it's going to be built-in capture card. That'll be good anyway. So uh, that'll put a lot of PVR, like Elgato and shit, out of business. But anyway, also. Uh, no PS3 games, you won't be able to use PS3 games in it, you're only able to download them from the store and play them on it, so like all of the previous Call of Duty's, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, etc, will, you'll all have to download them from the store if you want to play them on the Playstation 4. There's a 8GB mem 8 gigabyte GDDR5 memory, uh, which I haven't a clue what the fuck that means, but it's supposed to be good, it means it's going to be fast, like lightning speed or something like that. So that'll be good. Also, uh, the DualShock 4 controller is going to be good because there's a new touchpad feature on it. And the uh, start and select buttons aren't on it anymore. There's an option button. And also there's a share button if you want to share something straight to any social network inside or anything like that, which is good. The analog sticks are tightened for uh, more precise moving. And R2 and L2 are improved. The shape of them is improved so your fingers don't slip off as easy as they used to. And also they're not as sensitive. So say if you like put the controller down on your lap or something, they wouldn't just flick and say if you're playing Call and a throw tomahawk or uh, whatever, a grenade or whatever. Uh, at the moment, I think you can pre-order this at the PS4, GameStop and Asda, and also some other place that I can't remember the name. I think it was Shop Shop 2 or something yeah, like that. It's yeah, it's not Ireland. Yeah, so I, I can't remember. And uh, also, there's a new feature for controllers. Instead of having to like log in, your, uh, uh, say if you're playing... A multiplayer or not a multiplayer game but say if you're playing like split screen you wouldn't have to log in the second controller it like you're automatically tracked by the new PSI PSI I think that's what it's called isn't yeah, it? yeah. So. it's you're automatically tracked by that so it tracks which controller is which I don't really know how that works but anyway it's gonna track which controller is which like who's the first controller who's second controller third and fourth and so on and the pack not one is now going to talk about some more features that will be included in the PS4 Okay, so uh, de next we have the user interface. So this is sort of like uh, the profile from PlayStation 3. There's a lot more features. I think you can uh, upload your picture, like your actual picture, obviously with the PlayStation Eye. And there's a lot of other things. I'm really hoping that your trophies will carry over, but from what it looks like, I think you can. Next, um, while sharing, you can actually sh uh, share onto Facebook, YouTube, and you can actually live stream straight from your PlayStation without need of anything else. There's another thing where I'm not sure exactly how this will work, but you can actually connect your PlayStation to the PS Vita. So let's say you could turn off your TV, I think, and actually like play the game with your PS Vita. Sort of, I think, what the Wii are trying to do. Also, you can just turn it on instantly. Like, you can sort of, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it's like you sort of turn it off, but it's not entirely off. and uh, the way it works is when you turn it on then it will just bring it back to where you were as if you just pause the game really but you're actually turning it off so then the price range it seems to be fairly cheap uh, somewhere around the $450 mark or £400 there's also a rumour going out that they're going to try and eliminate second hand games full stop like uh, when you put it in it'll probably have to install and then the game's useless after that I don't know why they'd want to do that but uh, it's just a rumor anyway, so hopefully they won't do it. So uh, these are just my hopes for the uh, PS4. Hopefully it'll have better graphics, because uh, Sony described the graphics as being like Crisis 2 on PC, which were pretty much unbelievable, so I hope uh, the graphics on PS4 will be like that. Also, yeah, I hope that games don't sell out. Like, obviously Call of Duty won't sell out because uh, it's such a big franchise, but I like, hope other games don't sell out uh, when they make the switch over to PS4. And uh, also I hope that Minecraft will be released to the PS4 because 
a lot of people have been waiting for it to be released on PS3 but it hasn't yet and it doesn't look like it will there's still a chance but I don't think it will hopefully it will be released on the PS4 because that will be good for Minecraft PC users alright so uh, Sony has said that the new PlayStation will be able to go up to 240 FPS and that was just like showing off it obviously won't be that because we can't even see that but it's just proven how good the engine will be there's, I've also heard rumours about the engine actually being the same as the PlayStation 3, which is to improve graphics and stuff. I really hope, if that is the case, that they've at least improved it so that it won't break as easily. Because I've heard loads of cases, including myself, where the PlayStation just stops working for no reason. Another thing is, I really hope it has very high memory. And also, I think they should bring back memory cards, because it was way better. Like, my PlayStation is only has, I think, 120 gig and I'm constantly deleting things when I want to play new games. Another thing is, the controller of the PlayStation 3, uh, it's really small, I think, I'm hoping the new one will be a bit bigger and chunkier, sort of like the Xbox controller. Uh, another thing is, I hope the controller is a lot cheaper, because the PlayStation 3 one is still 60 euro as it was when it was first released, so I'm hoping the new one won't be as dear. Then uh, the games, I'm hoping, I've heard that they're going to be about $60, which I think they are now for the PlayStation 3, so hopefully they will be like that and not go up in price, because I noticed the games originally for the PlayStation 3, I think the most ever were 50 euro, whereas now they start doing them for like 55 and even 60 for some of them. So that's just my hopes for the new PlayStation. Right, so that's my thoughts on the PlayStation 4. If you think we got anything wrong, or just your thoughts and hopes on the PlayStation 4, please leave a comment below. Also drop a like because it helps a lot, and subscribe. Yeah. So thanks for watching Archon Talks Episode 3 and a little analysis on the PlayStation 4. That is Archon. And the Pac-Not 1. Peace.